Good afternoon. You're going to love this one. This one's a brilliant one. Got a full focus. You could have this on probably most cars uh, with a smart system, I would have thought. Um, she's a diesel. And the customer's complaint, as I say, it's got a battery drain as well, I, I believe. And it's that. It's got, a, it looks like a new battery fitted. Um, no alternator fitted. As you can see, there's some creative wiring going on all over and customers complaint is it's going up to 17 18 volts um, on charging um, he may have had a problem with the alternator he may have had it but I do not know all I know is is this thing is charging at 17 volts going up that's the problem so I'm going to show you what it is show you what we got so we're just going to stick it up. Fire it up. Okay, got it fired up. As you can see, battery light on, flashing, engine system, management. Oh, we've got it all going on here. Let's just have a look at the multimeter. And the scores on the doors. She's charging 17.5. She's all over the place. So the customer, let's turn it off quick. So the customer's correct. He is correct. The problem is, is there's a, uh, it's overcharging. So, what I found is, I'm just having a, just having a quick look around, make sure I check. I mean, obviously I've looked at that and I've looked at everything else thinking, good God, what am I getting myself into? But what I found, and I always like, but as I say, I normally like a brand new battery when I'm working on cars, but it's don't look that old. Uh, I'm looking at, and I do like terminals nice and tight. Oh, hold on. We got a nut missing and a bolt. All oh, right, okay. Right, so what I'm gonna do, a pair of mole grips, cause I haven't got anything. I'm gonna put that on there. Put this back on there because the battery's quite flat and uh, just get that there remember 12 volts there right, it's going to fire it up and the medicians coming in right fire it up and as you can see battery light things ain't flashing as much though are they they're not flashing as much. Let's just give it a... See, battery light goes out. And... Look at my voltage. So I must have had a voltage drop between the power and the alternator. And that's why the alternator was starting to ramp up because there was a problem but that's his problem so I'm glad I didn't mess around with any of that I'm quite glad I didn't mess around with none of it to be honest um, but yeah that was all it was was just a run um, so all he does need is a uh, I don't know couple of quid nut and bolt that fits in there I think they're about three four quid uh, in there and that will solve his alternator issue. Job done. As I say, I told you I was going to get loads of bloody problems down in Dan's place. I'm thinking, you want to see some of the stuff he's got. He gets it from main dealers and all sorts of places in here. And um, if you want to watch any more, if I get any more of these come up, I'll, uh, I'll put some up. As I say, I've still got to edit the other one, but I'll get round to that. So yeah, any comments or anything like that, make it interesting. And uh, but no, that's the fix of the day: a nut, a bolt, and a proper washer. I could have been on here for hours, couldn't I? Yeah, could have been. I don't think so. Right, everyone have a good day. Thanks for watching.